Where did you go? Where did you go? That is not your mama. Lammy's not your mama. I know. It's soft though, isn't it? babies and this is their second video with us they are this is their four week video technically but they are almost five weeks old guys I am very very late getting this one out so we're, we're in between that four and five week video yeah <laughs> although they're still not doing all that much no where did you go where did you go? That is not your mama. Lammy's not your mama. I know. It's soft though, isn't it? Yeah. This is a litter of six. This is a petite litter. Our litter, uh, our petites uh, mature between 16 and 20 pounds. So anywhere in that range is where you're gonna find our petites. Now, our pockets go up to 15 pounds. And then our minis start at 20. So you can very well have some that kind of cross over into the categories, but um, the 16 to 20 pounds is what we're looking at for Diana and Beans litters. And in this litter of six, we have four girls and two little boys. So I'm gonna show you the little boys first since they are both here. We have uh, now, everybody in this litter is a soft, cotton, wavy coat. That means they're still going to be this wonderful way, that traditional doodle, ragamuffin look. They're not shedding coats. And don't get too hung up on generations, um, because not every generation is created alike. The only ones that are really created alike, well, not, not even that. I was going to say the F1, the first generation, but not even that. Some of my first generations have the poodle as the mom, others have the retriever as the mom. So you can't even go by that either. So uh, some people they're like, I saw this one dog, I have to have it, it was this generation. And I wanna ask some questions first. So before um, people get too hung up on generations, I wanna ask them, well, what are, you, what are you looking for and what is it about that generation that you're admiring? Because my generation of, you know, an F1 BB or an F2 BB or an F, three generations or an F1B may not be the same as another breeder. So we'll just uh, uh, throw that out there. But anyway, this is a non-shedding soft cotton wavy coat. And all of these are a soft cotton wavy. So orangey boy here is a red. Yes. And then our other little boy is dark blue collar boy. Yes. And dark blue has some white on his chin and chest. A little bit on the chest there. Hi. Hi there, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and he is a red as well. So those are the only two boys we have in this litter, both a fairly dark red color. Let's look at our little sweet pudding pop girl here. This is lime collar girl. Um, I mean, lime collar green girl. And she is another soft cotton wavy and she is a red. See, I'm just so sweet. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Those eyes will get away with murder. Murder, yes. Next is our turquoise collar girl. Turn around here for a second, baby. I know you're trying to catch a nap. I know. And she is another red. And then we have two lighter ones. Um, the lightest of the, you gotta love that, that sleeping pose. This is the lightest of the litter. 
not 100% cream, but very much like our English creams. If you look at her next to the potty pad, you can see she is a little darker than your traditional, like a white cream. But when you look at her next to the rest of them, you can see she is not a red. She is not even a peanut butter. She is kind of a, a dirty cream. Yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah, see, I was sleeping, woman. I was sleeping and I'm not appreciative. But you're gonna be sweet about it, aren't you? Yes. So purple collar is our lightest of the litter. And let me see if I can maneuver to dark pink. I think dark pink may have to have one of those lamb chops there because she really liked lamb chop. All right, if you see her next to the red and next to the lightest color, you can see she's, she's still a, a light color. Um, if she was in a litter of whites, we would call her a peanut butter. So to me, she kind of looks like that jar of peanut butter. Yeah, see, I'm a peanut butter color. So there you kind of have those three colors together. Hopefully that'll help you there. Um, at four weeks old here, we're doing gruel with the babies. So they're learning to eat. And let's just check our, our teethy situation. Yep, yeah, we do have teeth. We got our teethies coming. Yeah, there's some more teeth. See that little tooth? Yay! We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. I am sorry for being so late uh, with my video and pictures this week. Um, of course, we had Father's Day. So normally I do things on Fridays. And last week, we kind of got off schedule. With everybody being born like on a Tuesday, a Wednesday, and a Thursday, in order for people to really see them at their actual age, for that week, I started postponing a little bit and then we had Father's Day and the day after Father's Day, I woke up with absolutely zero voice. It was back to the beginning of laryngitis for me. And I thought, well, I just talked a little too much on Father's Day, we'll have some voice rest, all will be well. All was not well, I woke up the next day, even worse than that. Well, at first I started to have some voice and then it was very evident that there that was not just a matter of me warming up my voice for the day, but the, the voice was gone. Um, my doctor, I had given them a message on Monday and they got back with me Tuesday and said, this is not your vocal cord issue. You are sick, you have a virus. And I really didn't believe them until I started getting through the day and then I just thought I was dying. I just felt absolutely horrible. No, it was not the big C word. Do not have that. Praise God, I do not have that. But uh, I'm still diabetic. Things like exhaustion can throw me down. So, um, and that I definitely have been having lately. Just a mix of our kids not sleeping and um, trying to get some work done. So anyway, I am, I took a four hour nap yesterday, got up, thought I could maybe try to maintain some form of normalcy and that did not work. So here we are. There will be, we literally have puppy picking, not this weekend, but next weekend. We're trying to fit all the litters in, in their order. So um, we're gonna be just a little ahead of schedule. You're fine, Ethel. A little ahead of schedule. Phil just walked in and they wanna know who came in the door. And so um, the um, next weekend is our puppy picking for this litter. This is still a virtual picking. So you will not be coming here, but you will be choosing based off of video pictures, temperament testing results. And those temperament testing results are headed out to you. Um, I usually send it out on Wednesday. I'll hopefully try to get it to you by Tuesday night. If not, everything will get to you by Wednesday. And then of course you'll have one more video after this one to look and use for your um, selection process. So between all of those things, that arms you with everything you need to make your selection. And I will be texting you at your picking time, finding out which puppy is yours. And I will also let everybody know as puppies are chosen so that you know um, who is remaining. So at this moment in time, we're just really continuing with our socialize, uh, socialization, working on our feeding. And next week we'll introduce some 
basic commands starting with sit. Um, sit and stay, those are our two that I start with. And then we add maybe a shake, depending on how they can handle that. And then um, we'll work on come. So anyway, that's kind of what we're doing right now. They're really not doing too much for us. No, no, hi. Do you think this is mama? See, I was trying to nurse on this. Yes. Everybody's got their favorite. So I'm gonna let you just watch them for a minute in their little bit that they're doing right now. And you will be receiving your uh, puppy picking instructions and you'll still get the directions to the farm so that you know how to plan your trips for those who are coming. Um, for those who are flying, obviously, you don't need those, but you'll um, at least get the picking instructions, things like that. Once you've chosen your puppy, I will be going ahead and emailing your purchase contract for you to sign and then sending out your invoices so you can take care of those. A lot of people get a little panicky that they haven't received an invoice. Don't worry, I will get those to you. I just wanna make sure that you've chosen your puppy first and that we have that down on your um, invoice so you know what puppy you're actually purchasing. So I'm gonna let you watch them free for a few minutes. Thank you for bearing with me with my with my voice and my health issues. I wanted to make sure I can talk, especially when they're this age and they're not doing much. You at least need me to tell you what we're doing for the week. All right, guys, can you be good? Yes, and I would say see you next weekend, but you will actually have another video on Wednesday so that you are all ready for your picking. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Say, let me sleep. Let me sleep. All right, guys, bye-bye.